Sebring schools will be looking to make some cuts. Voters in the district said no to renewing a 1% income tax last night, and the margin was close. 27 First News reporter James Santelli has that story. Mitch Scott co-owns El Sabor Cafe in Sebring. He says he usually votes in the elections, but yesterday... I did not, only because I didn't know that there was a special election yesterday. Well, there was, and it was close. A difference of just 39 votes means Sebring schools will not renew a 1% income tax levy. More money that people probably don't have to spend or don't want to spend. Mitch went to Sebring schools growing up. He voted for the levy renewal last November, and so did Alan Flowers. Go Trojans. <laughs> whom I met at J.P. Snacks and Sodas. Oh. It was election day, sorry. Uh, you, you, really only, you really only pay attention to the big ones every four years once. Allen and Mitch are in the majority. Four out of every five people in the Sebring district did not vote on Tuesday. So it was a pretty low voter turnout for this. But it's a special in August, and those are usually low voter turnouts. But there is an election coming up that, thanks to Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump, will get a much higher turnout. They can put it on in November, and then after November, they would have to change the language around a little bit to put it back on again. And Sebring Schools plans to ask the voters to renew the tax again in November. The tax expires at the end of December, but Sebring is already looking at some cuts, potentially losing field trips, cutting school clubs, or eliminating bus service for grades 9 through 12. I don't want to have to cut the programs for the students because they're the ones that hurt when the money isn't there. But they'll have to start deciding what to cut at a school board meeting this Monday. In Sebring, James Santelli, WKBN 27 First News.